Hello, my most amazing artists. Today we're going to make pumpkins like artist Yayoi Kusama. She was a fan of lots and lots of dots. And so you will see that the pumpkin that we're about to make has a lot of dot shapes. But to get started, you will need some paper, plain or colored, you choose, a Sharpie. And if you want to, you could always use white or black paint um, as an option. And I just have some Q-tips here to make those dots, but that again is an optional item. And if you have it in your home, great. If you don't, you can still enjoy this project with just a regular Sharpie. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the center of your paper and create your pumpkin's stem. So you wanna be a little bit um, higher and that way you have plenty of room for your pumpkin to sit on the ground. So I'm gonna find the center, kind of make this oval shape for the top of my stem. Now two lines down and that is going to be where my pumpkin stem sits. The next shape I'm going to create is kind of an odd one. It actually starts at the top, curves in, around, curves back in. It kind of looks like a bowling pin a little bit. So around just like that. That's going to be the center of your pumpkin. Now I'm going to create a similar shape right next to the one shape I've already created. So I kind of like to ghost write my lines. That way I can get a feel for how it's going to look, especially when I'm using Sharpie, because once you make that line, you can't change it. On the other side, same thing. I'm gonna do my ghost line first, come up, come back down and in. Now this is looking pretty good, but we're going to still add yet another line on either side of our pumpkin shapes that we've created. So I'm gonna start one more time. And out, and on the other side, and in. So there is my really big Kusama pumpkin. And I'm gonna even put her on a little horizon line in there so that she's sitting on the ground. Okay, next is the back of the stem. I'm gonna create these two little lines just to show that there's some dimension in my pumpkin. Ready for some dots? I hope so. So here's the part where you can get creative. You can simply use your Sharpie and you can draw nice big dots right down the center. If you're using paint, this is the part for you to use your Q-tip and you can actually do some nice big dots right down the center using paint. And we'll show you how that looks in just a minute. But we're working on the largest dots of our pumpkin. So down the center. And now I'm going to make those all the way down the sides on the line that I created all the way around. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. all the way down to the bottom. I still have yet my other line, same thing. Using my largest size dot that I'm going to create in my pattern today. And on the other side. Excellent. I'm even gonna put some dots right going right down the center of my stem. Now I'm going to make some medium sized dots. And the medium sized dots are going to create patterns alongside the larger ones. So going down the center, these are going to be my medium sized dots. All the way down on the other side. And I'm gonna use some medium dots down the center here. and some medium dots on the other side. And even some medium dots right down my last sections of pumpkin all the way around. So we kind of have the same patterns on both sides. There we go. Now we're gonna do our smallest size dots. So you're gonna see Maybe even just a little pen dot is all you're going to need to do just to keep them. I'm gonna start right down here and even make some out here. 
So straight down and even some up here. And then I'm gonna go straight down this section, this section and my remaining two pumpkin sections. So that is essentially how you create a Kusama pumpkin with lots and lots of dots. Now I could color these in with my Sharpie or if you have access to some craft paint, you can simply just dab in your shapes using a neutral color like black or white. You could try white if you were using a darker color paper. So you can see here, this is kind of a fun, just really quick dab, dab, dab. So once again, you can choose to do black and fill in all your dots. Or I'll show you the example. I have an orange paper with a Kusama pumpkin and you can even do white if you so desire. Again, if you don't have access to craft paint, um, you don't have to, you can certainly color it in with Sharpie um, or marker, but you can still have fun creating your very own Kusama style pumpkin. I hope you enjoyed this activity. Keep on creating friends.